It doesn't look like the right lid. What before? Now look. Aren't you like, that lid goes with that? I don't think I am. It only did say that. Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking Time. My name is Jake Boyd. I'm the adult programming librarian for Sterling Municipal Library. And today, okay, it's like January 30th or something like that, but that's close enough to the year, new year for me to make black eyed peas. They are not typically, um, I'm from the Midwest, we do sauerkraut for the new year, but for the new year, since I'm in Texas now, I'm gonna start doing black eyed peas. Um, and I'm gonna be making them from um, the Moosewood Restaurants cookbook. Um, this is not by any means a new cookbook. It's a very old cookbook, but um, it's like a classic um, in, vege in vegan? <laughs> vegan and vegetarian cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get about a tablespoon of olive oil and start getting it hot in this right here. And it's a very spare cookbook. There's only, um, there's almost no um, photographs. There's only illustrations inside. So it's very bare bones, but everything in it is very good. Okay, I think my olive oil is hot enough now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add, this is about a cup each of yellow onion and um, diced celery. So we're gonna get those in there. Get these right in here. And I am gonna cook these until my onions are translucent and soft, anywhere from five to 10 minutes. All right. It looks here like my onions are about where I need them to be. And now I'm going to, so I had two cans of the black eyed peas. I'm gonna add both of them. I drained them with the exception of this one cup of liquid here that I'm gonna keep. Perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add that one cup of bean juice back in. And then we're also gonna add just about a tablespoon of soy sauce all right that's probably about right and now we're gonna get these to a simmer I'm gonna probably turn up in order to get to a simmer all right we're just about there and now I'm gonna keep it at a simmer for about five more minutes all right so my five minutes of simmering are up I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm going to take this, which is um, just some green onions and some red bell peppers and dump them in there too. And then we're gonna stir well to combine. And now we can actually turn off the heating element. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop our lid on there. That's not the right lid, it'll work anyway. <laughs> And now we're gonna wait. It looks like it would be if you don't before you put it on there. Anyway, and now we're just gonna wait a, like another five minutes just for those to kind of take some of the bite out of the out of the uh, bell pepper, and then it'll be ready to eat. Oh shoot! I'm just kidding, because we're also gonna add some dill. The recipe calls for cilantro. I didn't have cilantro, and I like dill better anyway. So, all right, and now. Just plop that incorrect lid back on there. Boop, 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 boop. Perfect. All right, should be ready in a second. Okay, my five minutes are up. I'm gonna check on these. They sure look like beans. I'm gonna try them, let me see here. Pretty dang good. Yeah, so these are the down-home black-eyed peas 
from Moosewood Restaurant's cookbook. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you'll join us next time. Bye.